Good morning everybody, it's Al again and uh, I'm going to show a video of uh, kind of a step-by-step -step on how to wire, connect uh, one of these uh, transfer panels uh, to your breaker box. Uh, there's a breaker box right there, at least the back of it. Uh, normally, as you saw in the other videos, you would put it next to it. This one's outside and I don't have any other place <coughs> where to place it. Uh, where to place my panel so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use another bracket right here and uh, I'm gonna get some pieces of wood to go from there to there and then uh, mount my uh, mount my box to it <clears throat> so that's how that's gonna go uh, I do have that angle iron material in the shed, so it should be a fairly easy thing to do. There we go. So, how that's going to go to give it a mounting surface, it's just going to go up here like this. See? Then we're going to cut it to size and to cut it uh, so there's there it is right too long so we're gonna cut it using uh, the grinder with a cutting wheel on it and then we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom and uh, put another piece in there and then use some bolts and some nuts on the back of them right there to uh, put them together <coughs> and uh, once that's done then we'll be able to uh, put the panel up so I'll show you that in just a minute all right so here's a panel mounted put in the brackets we'll cut them off put some boards behind it screw it to it and that uh, the conduits now got to go through the knockouts here go through and then uh, the way the wires uh, work is that you have a letter for each breaker, or for yeah, for each breaker and each switch, uh, A through F. And you see there's a, a 240 right there on C and D. And so the way that works is that you find the wire C. There's a black one and a red one for every letter there is. So. Uh, you find the black C, and then we find the black C somewhere in here. There will be a black C, or I mean a red C. And uh, then we'll put them together. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Here's a, so I did find it. So here's a red C uh, right there. So you all can see it. Uh, there's the red C. And that goes with the black. So... That goes to the breaker, and we'll show you how that goes, and that allows you to have regular power on the rest of the circuits, and maybe just isolate one or two circuits to go to battery. And this is Mike, the electrician. Mike is doing the work. Right now getting some of this stuff connected. And he's working feverishly feverishly so here we are again just uh, not enough time to you know take the video in pieces uh, all the time but anyways uh, uh, here's the uh, other transfer panel it's I still have some more work to do to it I gotta still put a uh, uh, an outdoor enclosure on top of this to protect it uh, but essentially we're gonna I'm gonna hardwire this one uh, to the bottom uh, as you can see there's a uh, there is a connector that's available down there there's a hole for a three-quarter inch and uh, so that's what we're gonna do uh, the way that this works uh, you know the conduit goes in here and I'll explain how easy it is to wire this thing I, sh I should have done it earlier I just didn't have the time uh, so it is uh, set up right now. I still have to 
I'll relabel this properly. I did relabel it, but I gotta take the old labels out, like like this label here just uh, needs to come out. And uh, essentially, what happens is every one every one of these circuits here that you see, which are labeled A through F, uh, right there, has two wires that are labeled A through F. One wire is red, one is black. The way that it works, and it's actually slick, is that you take, for example, A here, we go to this panel, and we see that A goes to the garage, okay? And what happens is I take, you take the black wire that goes, that comes from this breaker here, and, uh, so actually this breaker here, and uh, you take that breaker, uh, that wire, the black wire from that breaker, and you wire tie it to the black wire that is labeled A from the power transfer panel. That leaves you with one red A wire. The red A wire connects, connects to the breaker. And this is how it's very easy now by using the selector switch in the box to be able to say uh, or to be able to be able to determine whether I want to use you know the line or I want to use and, and here's the label right if I want to use line or generator so right now I don't have the power from the inverter coming to this guy here that's what we're gonna do next weekend so next weekend we're gonna bring a line in from my T24 inverter bring it into here and uh, this guy will be powered on by a 30 amp circuit uh, using 10 gauge wire so uh, I just wanted to show you how easy it is so again uh, if I wanted to wire for example E uh, there's gonna be a red wire marked E and a black wire marked E you come over here and you pick out whichever breaker it is that you want to put on E in this case is the bedroom breaker which is this one and you say okay I want to take uh, uh, e, put it there. So you take the black wire of this breaker here, take it out, wire tire together to the black wire from the panel labeled E, and now you have the wire that came out of the breaker and the wire that is labeled E, the black wire that is labeled E from the transfer panel wire tied together. And you take now the red wire that's labeled E and put it on that breaker. Done. So now when I want to go to, if I leave it online, it's always, you know, going bypassing and going uh, and pushing electric uh, power from the power company out there. If I put on generator, then it'll take the power from the incoming circuit, which could be one of two. It could be either something that I have plugged in here, which is how I have the other one, or I have a, a line coming in from the bottom, which is probably what I'll do here. Because since this is not an outside enclosure, it's not an EMA 3 enclosure, uh, I'm going to have to put an enclosure on top of it and it doesn't leave me enough room for me to put a plug in here. So I will leave that one for generator power, power which is okay. I have a, you know, a 5.5 kilowatt uh, gas power generator, which is good if I, you know, for whatever reason, I don't have enough wind or, or solar, I can always fall back on generator. And this is the most critical circuit because that's where my two freezers are. It's in the shed as well as my well pump and the, and the water pump going to the house. So this is absolutely the most critical uh, tra power transfer panel that I have, uh, although the smallest one. And as you're taking your loads and splitting them across, you can you know, look at the watt meters here and it'll show you what loads are split across what phases. So for example, A, B, and C are here D, E, and F are here, and the breaker, the 240 breaker in the middle, which is a 20 amp, uh, is going to my well pump, which is also a 20 on a 20 amp breaker, and that's evenly distributed between C and D, so we're good there. So when I go now and start wiring the rest of the circuits, wiring the rest of the circuits, now I will figure out and choose, okay, what do I want to put on A? So I put a heavy load, for example, like my, uh, the guest bedroom, which is, uh, which is, uh, over here, that guest bedroom has a water heater inside, which pulls a lot of power as well as a wind, window air conditioner. So what I do is I put, for example, the, the, the room that has also the water heater 
into this uh, into the circuit and and uh, by the way it's a small water heater it's a f uh, five gallon unit uh, no, I think it's a 10 gallon unit uh, so it only pulls 1500 watts which is about what, what a hair dryer pulls so uh, I don't have a separate circuit for it I don't feel I need one and I won't put another separate circuit on it that's uh, just good enough uh, and then I have a uh, the next circuit which is the uh, window air conditioner I put it on one of these other circuits so that way when, whenever I need to be on standby power you know my power over here if I was using the air conditioner and I was using the water heater at the same time would be balanced uh, fairly even so that's kind of how that works um, I'll show you over here what we're going to do so right now all we have left is to pull the wires from the inverter the T240 inverter over to that and there's a T240 inverter so we're going to pull wire from there uh, to a junction box that we're going to put down here and we're going to take the wires of this box here we're going to cut that flex conduit take it to another junction box and then the rest of the cable is going to go to the junction box and then another wire or another cable or another conduit is going to come up and it's going to feed this, feed this T240 panel, this T240, uh, I'm sorry, uh, inverter, and this T240 inverter is going to feed my transfer panel, which will in turn power everything here. So we've been, uh, as you can see, busy. Uh, you see that MC cable running all across there uh, in the shed. We have, uh, you know, the outlet or the, uh, I don't know the outlets for the boxes, the junction boxes in place. Now, um, to wire the rest of the shit. I got some lights that I'm going to put up here. Uh, wire two switches just like those two are. And I have my uh, outlets are coming all around here, all around here. And then I have this uh, room that I am building in here. All this stuff that's hanging is going to come down. And we're going to essentially, uh, you know, I'll wall it up, I'll put insulation in it. There's a light switch that's going to go in here, and there's a box of light switch, or for the lights, the lights are going to go across here, and then you see the rest of the uh, the cables are coming across, and for the for the uh, outlets that I have to put in there, I'm going to have outlets there, another outlet there, and then finally another outlet here, and this is really my reloading room or will be my reloading room right now I'm just I got junk everywhere I hate working like this I hate doing anything here so a lot of this stuff is going to migrate to the new building uh, that you saw in another video being built that's getting um, sheeted with uh, plywood uh, all this stuff is going to end up being hanged over there orderly which will defunk <laughs> this room significantly and uh, hopefully next weekend all of this will be done all in one fell swoop. I uh, have a guy coming in that's going to help with the carpentry because I don't feel like doing it. It's just uh, I got a lot of stuff that I got to do with electrical to really worry about that. Uh, and that's not a whole lot that needs to be done with that. So uh, that's going to get done that way. And as soon as uh, we finish this next week and finish the power transfer panel, then we start working right away on the rest of the hardware freight panels that need to go up. So it's one little project after another and we're trying to knock as much as we can uh, off the table pretty quickly so anyways uh, I know it's a quick update but that's kind of where we are right now hopefully we will be very quickly and very soon we will be off the grid uh, we are literally days away from it like uh, within 30 days or so if we you know uh, dedicate our time to it uh, I will add more batteries to the battery bank and I still have to add that cover to it so there's more there's another dozen batteries coming in in the future for this battery bank here so we're going to double our capacity here uh, which is all goodness uh, so i have to figure out where i'm going to put and probably i'm going to make some kind of a, a battery bank uh, you know frame against that back wall back here and move all this junk here over to the other shed and that way I'll have a wall of batteries here, another wall of batteries there, double in my capacity. Life will be good. The Lord will be with us. He will bless everything that we do. Because uh, thanks to Him, all things can be accomplished. So here's the box. Uh, finally installed with the uh, 
a cover because it's not a uh, uh, it's not an EMA three enclosure. It does have a plastic cover on it, but that's not good enough. So I rigged this, and uh, you know, just has a brass hinge on the top. Just clear, you know, clear plastic for the most part, and you can kind of see on the side there the front of it is matte. So uh, seems to work though. Keep it in there, keep the water out. It'll work good, last a long time. Take care.